Hey YouTubers, this is Killing A6, aka Raymond. Welcome to another movie review. Well guys, a tale as old as time. I went and seen the new Beauty and the Beast, a remake which is a live action film, which is uh, it was a surprise for me. Now I've seen two trailers, but the one trailer I thought was the most amazing, it gave me a tear to my eye, it was the, the Beauty and the Beast final trailer. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you see make sure you take a watch because you can be able to hear Ariana Grande and John Legend sing the song Beauty and the Beast. But like I told you guys before that, this song was okay, but I love the original, which was Celine Dion and Peebo Bryson. That song had more power. It was so amazing. But the one thing I want you guys to know, that that song won a Grammy, a lot of Grammys, an Oscar for Best Song in a Motion Picture, and also a Golden Globe. But now... To me, will history repeat itself? I'm sure it will get, it'll be nominated again for next year's Oscars, but we will see. The movie, it was amazing. It, it, it was, how can I put this? It almost stuck with every word, like almost every dialogue inside, in the, the original one. I don't know why I'm using my hand, just bear with me. But there was new songs, new songs. And it was really amazing. And I, how the beast was created, it was just like, wow, he looks so real. And let me I like to say, guys, you can't beat the original. The fight scene with uh, Gaston at the end, it was okay. But the, the cartoon one, it was more intense. The way that he was fighting Gaston on the, on the castle. This one was all right, but I, like I said, you can't beat the original. The original was better. But, um... What I find very interesting, and let you guys know that uh, Angela Lansbury was the voice of Mrs. Potts from the 1991 Beauty and the Beast. And this year's Mrs. Potts was voiced by Emma Thompson. And if you guys seen the movie Saving Mr. Banks, it was, a it was a true story about how Walt Disney tried to get the rights of Mary Poppins from the writer P.T. Travers. And she was, Emma Thompson was the one who played P.T. Travers. She actually sang, oh, spoiler alert, if you guys don't want to hear, just stop the video right there, but if you can, give me a like on this video. Here it is. She actually sang the song, and she sang it beautifully. But, oh, but like I said, Angela Lansbury sang it a lot better. She did it in one take, and which was really amazing right there. And... Uh, We've seen Be Our Guest. We've seen a lot of those songs and everything. And I like, show me the smile. <laughs> but how Beast is like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> that was creepy. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. The Beast, I was like, mm -hmm. like, shit. It is, we're here, it is, no, we're here to, you're here to smile at a girl. You're not going to kill Batman. It's like, <laughs> But you know what, guys? It's just the fact that um, this movie was really good. It was a little long, I can tell you that. But Emma Watson, who played Belle, who's also best known for playing Hermione, she did an amazing job singing. And also Luke Wilson, who was the – Luke Evans. Luke Evans, I'm sorry. Luke Wilson is uh, Owen Wilson's brother. Uh, Luke Evans, who's best known for being the villain in The, the Fast and Furious Part 6 – and also who played Dracula in the Dracula Untold film. She, he actually sang, and it was really great. He had a great voice. But everything in that film, it was really good. I mean, Sir Ian McCullen as Cogsworth, Ewan McGregor as Lumiere. And we know that uh, uh, Ewan McGregor can sing, thanks to uh, Moulin Rouge. Ah, I fixed my pants leg. But all I can say, guys, is that that movie was amazing. And standing ovation, it was it was almost a standing ovation for when I was in the theaters. But it was like doing that. But all I can tell you guys is that this was amazing. I give the movie 9.5 out of 10. But like I said before, the fight scene with Gaston would have been a little better. But as you, I'm sure you guys remember how he fought uh, Gaston. On the castle in the cartoon version. And that was intense. And. Also the. 
uh, another spoiler alert, the fight scene with the wolves, it, it could have been a little bit better, but it, it was good, but it wasn't as better as the original. That one was, like I said, more intense. Now, as a kid, I was six years old when I, no, I was five years old when I seen Beauty and the Beast. And let me tell you, the Beast scared the hell out of me. I thought he was the bad guy, but then when I seen him save save Belle from the from those wolves, the, it you see it like oh he is a good guy he does care, but then when you see the fight scene with Gaston you root for the beast I mean it's like wow we're not, instead of rooting for a human we're rooting for a guy who is a beast and bam there you go, and I thought that was crazy, but the music was great. The New songs, and they were perfect. We hear sing from um, from the people that were also like the equipment, like you know, like the dresser, the hanger, plates, all that stuff. They were gonna sing. And spoiler alert, like I said, Beast can sing. The guy actually can sing, and it was amazing. And it was really cool how how it ended and how it. Came, it, the story was just perfect. This is one of these films. One, of, this is one of the films was in my childhood for Disney, and it's kind of hard to hard to put into words that they they finally made it into a live action film, and it was amazing. You can't beat the original, but this new one was actually a little bit better, a little bit like a little bit like a millimeter I would say a, a millimeter better than the cartoon one but like I said the music from the original the fight scenes and the, everything else was better the best I'll take that back the best so guys I would get I give the movie a 9 out of 10 a 9.5 I'll take that back with, with the as was it would be 9 out of 10 the fight scene with Gaston would have been better, and the fight scenes with the wolves would have been better. But overall, everything was great. And I found out that Kevin Klein, who is best known in um, Wild Wild West with Will Smith, and also um, uh, French Kiss, which he's, it was a romantic love so uh, story with him and Meg Ryan. He was a good actor. He played the father. He played Maurice, which was great. But overall, guys, if you've seen the film, tell me what your favorite part was. My favorite part was when he be shown Bell all the books, and he made a joke about everything. Is everyone's book read every one of these books? No, some of them are in Greek. <laughs> I the book scene from the cartoon was great, but also seeing it in real life, seeing everything was good. I know it's computer animated. I'm just pointing that out. It was great. Got it from the story. They they kept they kept everything the same, almost the same from the cartoon film, and this one they added a little bit more different different stuff, and over and it's still great. When I went to the movie theater, there was a long line. Everyone went to see it in IMAX, IMAX 3D. I saw it regularly, to be honest. I mean, the way that I watched that film, it. The thing that just jumps out at you, that not much, but over, but overall, guys, it was great, and and I hope this continues to be doing great in the box office. It did really good within the next uh, two days. This is the third day, so we'll find out. Uh, well, today on Monday, which is twelve thirty nine a.m. right now, we'll find out how much it made within the, the weekends. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. <gasps> Hiccups. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this. If you've seen the film, tell me what your favorite part was. Like I said, my favorite part was the library scene where she, he's shown her all the books. Tell me what your favorite is. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget, stay positive.